All right, Jed. I might be a little, uh, a tiny, tiny, little bit of a buzz coming. We took a shot, and leak pie. a couple of shots. I need to try that. Oh, we should probably talk to Pike. Damn, was that Frank out of line? Did I come on too strong? It yes. was bold. I'll give you that. I can't help it. I still tense up whenever I see a uniform. Yeah, it's probably because we're a person who starts a lot of fights, huh? I can't help it. I still tense. Hey, Alex. Ready for that drink. I'm ready to take you up on that drink. All right. Hey, hey, Jed, can we get, uh... Thanks. And keep it quick. She's on the clock. <laughs> Three shots! Woo! <sighs> You know, your brother's been talking about you getting here for months. I'm starting to get the sense. I even remember exactly the day he found your number. He was telling everybody in this place. Really? Yeah. Pretty heartwarming stuff. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. Later, Pike. Sorry you couldn't help us start a little mission. How do they feel? Haven is nice. Just... Wish it felt like home. Hope we both get there soon. Sounds like Ducky knows Gabe pretty well. Can I speak with the more? Miss Jed. No, okay. My dad was in the service. Jed! Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yeah. Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Good call. Perfectly on Speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Oh, that's okay. that's okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. Not to mention, you can sure hold your liquor. <laughs> you can't keep an injured. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Jed. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. Who the hell is messaging me? Leave me alone. Nice little roof. This is one of those rooftops where I totally go to the bar, get some drinks, and then come up to the top to just chill with friends. If I had any. How's your jaw? Bad. Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... Oh, hey, we're having a beer. All right. You rehearse them. <laughs> Did you rehearse that move? No. Only in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Okay, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it. 
guess I never realized. <laughs> that I'm a crazy person? That I can kick your ass? That I can kick your ass? Yeah, I guess. No, I never realized what your life must have been like. On your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. It's, uh, it's, it's because I have. Kids in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I've got superpowers. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? Tell him about your power. Tell him about your past. I don't even know shit about my power. I actually don't know what the fuck to do here. Oh, God. Um. Whew, uh, do I tell him about my fucking superpowers? See, this is where I would like more explain it as like I just get really set off. It's like a mental health issue because it's it's a legitimate thing. There are people who get set off by stressful events. We'll tell them about our past. Growing up in the system was hell. In my first foster home, an older boy followed me into the bathroom. So I pushed him out. He got angry. So did I. Then I broke his nose. I was 14. In the second home, one of the other kids committed suicide. And I couldn't eat for a month. After a couple of weeks in the fifth home, I got so depressed that my new parents sent me to a hospital. I never saw him again. The hurt follows me everywhere. It's the other kids get adopted, leave the system, not me. They never picked me. I'm broken. Do you really believe that? Today I do. Today I do. Socking your own brother in the jaw is one for the record books. I don't even feel it anymore. That's not the point. Look at you. You've got a home, a job, a girlfriend. You've got everything figured out. And I don't. We'll get there. Gabe, be positive. You're just starting a new life. Is that for me? It is now. Is it a lucky, lucky batch box? Don't give what up. What is this? Huh. A reminder. Looks like a match to me. That was the last matchbook I got when I was still in juvie. Did some pretty unsavory stuff to score it. And you still have it? Yeah. I carry it with me everywhere. When I got out, I went through the last few matches real quick. 
obviously, but I, I could never bring myself to use the last one. It reminded me how bad life got and how much better I was going to make it. I don't know what to say. You're welcome. All right, Gabe. That was a good pull. We won't give up. We'll, we'll do our best. Make a life here work. When I found Haven and Charlotte, I couldn't believe they were real. Everything before was such hell. Now it's different. You can do the same. Start a new life. You made it out of the system, Alex. You survived. It's time to move on. I wish there was more options. We, we only get like two options so many times. I want more. Maybe you're right. I came to Haven, after all. Exactly. That's the first step. It's day one. We're fine. We're going to get by. Don't forget. I'm here to help you. That's not going to change. Thanks, Gabe. I'll try not to punch you anymore. So, when were you going to tell me about the guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Hey. Is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, wait. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan, he told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move. Now. Okay, let's go. Why'd the kid have to do this on a night where they're blowing shit up? Whoops. Am I joining them on this trip to the mountains? Or am I chilling here with suffering the consequences of my actions? I'm going with them. Ethan! Come on, pick up, pick up. This hole seems like a child could fit through it. Alex. Or a small woman. Oh, okay, he made the hole bigger. This way. since I was up here. You don't do your ranger stuff around here? Private land. Outside of my jurisdiction. Dad brought me up here a bunch when I was little, though. I was his miner in training. <laughs> that was back before mining meant blowing the tops off mountains. Any luck? 
and touch base with the safety team up at the site. They're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Nice. At least we're not racing the clock. Hey, you good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? I should have said something earlier. I didn't. I mean, when he said he was going to the old mine... I... Alex, it's fine. You couldn't have known. It's not your fault. No, I, I, I yeah. knew. I knew. Still, though. <laughs> I definitely just wanted to see what the fuck would happen if this kid would be I'm stupid go enough take to a do look it. Around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Something tells me those two weren't the best match. One of your neighbors has changed their relationship status. Riley Leith is now single. Oh, proud of you, sweetie. Ouch, Mac. Mazel tov. Everyone's proud of it. Everyone's just like, yeah, nice. Excited to announce we have a new addition to the Black Lantern staff. Happy to have you, Alex. Landed a job on my first day. Maybe this fresh start is still salvageable. Though maybe you could stand to lay off the sauce a bit while on the clock. Where's the fun in that? She's all right by me. She's a good sport. Glad you're friendly here, Alex. Typhon mining. Official two-hour warning. Typhon mining will be detonating charges in two hours. If you are in the marked danger zone, you'll be. Uh, you must begin clearing out now. We got a kid missing here. It's okay. We'll find him. Seeking worthy competition for the jukebox game. The Chens continue to prove no match. Guess I'm going to have to step up my game. <laughs> That's, it's not fair. I haven't heard these songs before. <laughs> she actually commented back. It was my first game. Hey, if you want to keep going, there's plenty more bedazzled kiwi snaps waiting for you. I had no idea people were drinking that. Should I buy more? No. <laughs> Lost dog. Ryan seems like a sweet guy. My golden retriever has run away. She's very sweet. Please let me know if you see her. Let me know beforehand if you want to look for her in the woods, okay? I can help. Okay, I will. Little dog. Someone texted me. Oh, Ducky. Dear Alex, it was very much my pleasure meeting you this evening. I hope you find a welcoming home here in Haven. I look very much forward to our next meeting. Sincerely, Reginald McAllister III. Thank you, Ducky. That's very sweet. There's so many people to know here. Can I go in here? Cool. A murder barn. Private property notice. Will we, though? This area is uh, the private property of Typhon Mining. Only authorized Typhon personnel are permitted. By those will be prosecuted. Or prosecuted. No, well, we'll be alright because we're going to save a kid, and that's much better than being prosecuted. Nope. 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 Super nope. Positive attitude, super nope. Uh, that's funny. Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. Julie McNamara is a fucking scam. Whoa. That's rude. Oh, he might be in there. You don't realize until you're up close, but mining equipment is super murdery. Yeah, you're not supposed to place a human head. My right joyride here. in this will have to wait until after we found Ethan. What the fuck, zombie? How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? High school senior high Halloween party 2018. Jeez. They were gonna set off charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. Yeah, that kid's lucky. Hey, bro. Want to get wasted at the old mine? I mean, they, they they definitely wanted to. Look at all the stuff they brought up here. The real monster here is underage drinking. You say that, but I feel like you've been an underage drinker, Missy. Probably not as fun to write in as they look. Alex, why? Why didn't you? No point in blaming anyone. We just gotta find him. Fast. He's right. The only thing that matters now is finding Ethan. Come on, Ryan. 
Everyone is depending on you. Ryan won't let his fear get in the way. I'm glad he's here. Imagine being trapped down there. Or actually, don't. I'm sure he'll be alright. We praise our or we raise our drinks to Jed Lucan. Wow. Once Ethan's safe, I'll raise one too. Pulled us out of hell December 30th, 2008. Ooh, helmet. It's pretty beaten up. Wonder what happened to it. Mining business? Okay, so I can't just go in there. So there's something else for us to look for. This says open gate. But it doesn't look that open. I'm not sure where I'm, where I'm, what I'm missing around here. I'm assuming maybe it's a conversation with them. I didn't see a talk option though. I'm gonna have to be on better behavior after this day. Beating up people, not talking about the kid. I'm sure the kid was gonna end up here anyways. What happened here? Massive cave-in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Ah, he's Same giving his inspiration. Logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion... What about the snake serpent? I can find the secret entrance! Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. Oh, okay. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. I'll probably just look around generally. Compare. I think Thanor went a different way. Gabe's on the gate. I should see if I can make sense of the comic. Are his thoughts changed? Alex. No, why? he's not. Okay. Why didn't you? No point in blaming anyone. We just gotta find him. Fast. Wait, so... Did Ethan... Oh, man. The drone seems to end here. Hollow. Oh, wait. So is that... This is the... The zombie in the chair. That's funny. So he went to this little... This little gate. There's like a side door back there. I don't know. I can guess there might be. Give there is. I, I already saw it in third person. <sighs> 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 
You figured that out from a comic book. I'm gonna try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Okay, good luck. I doubt this place has power. But maybe it has an old generator on standby with a little bit of fuel. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? How old is this? Legalize it. Have I got some good news for you. <laughs> Phone. Anne? You okay? I'm sorry to call you at work. I just came home from the doctor. I couldn't wait for you to come home. Baby doll? I, I'm pregnant, Jed. Oh. Anne. Jed's wife. Ryan's mom. Where did she go? I mean, she could just be at home somewhere. Do we really have to assume she's gone? I mean, it, it seems like a slim chance, but... What? Do the red one. Go with red. It's always red. Okay. Well. No. Nothing. Dang. Back to the drawing board. I was confused as to what, hap what happened. This thing has seen better days. I'm not confident this is gonna work. Hey, if it hurt you, there's a little bit of like electricity so left much over. Stuff just left behind. I wonder how you open this thing. Is there a button around somewhere? There is, but we need power first. It said something about pressing space to like switch between conversations, and then we just got in a conversation from far away. That was confusing. Oh, Ugh. worse than sleeping on the ground. Nope. Thanor doesn't battle any bed bugs. Oh, dead crow. Ugh. Let's hope omens aren't really a thing. Let's hope this isn't a game with monsters in it. Kind of want to push all the buttons. Also, kind of scared to push any of the buttons. Is this... Oh, this is the staircase. I can find the secret entrance. Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. Okay, but then how did he get out of here? Not sure. I'm gonna have a look. Wasn't in the comic. Hi, scary old building. Please don't collapse while we're inside you. Thanks. Oh, are these from the roof? Oh, Jesus. Thank you for letting me know, game. Debris. Uh. Maybe it's full of Twinkies. Those never go bad, right? Pretty sure that's a myth. I'm sure they can, they can go bad. I wouldn't trust them. Get this out of the way. through there. Okay, I'll stay out. But not because you told me to. Wasn't in the comic. Sign, caution when ascending to top level catwalk. Why? We passed caution like an hour ago. Is it because there's just a little, these staircases were made from a little bit of floppy material? Sloppy materials. Not in the comic. Can't go that way. The silo. We're getting close. Am I gonna have to climb up this conveyor belt? Reminds me of the snake thing in Ethan's comic.
Your flying days are over, Cloud Serpent, but you may still be of use to me. He jumps to it and then climbs. Ridiculous, Ethan. Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. I think I'll find another way through. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Yikes! Chain hoist. Worth a shot. A manual way to open up the gates. Let's do it. Heads up! You figured out the door. Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? Hey, I mean, it, that, that was a good design, that they had the crank up there, just in case maybe power turned off or something. I'm, I, I wish I could move faster. She has casual slow walk, and then casual slightly faster walk. 